We are now going to do another example of summing finite series using the method of differences. It says in part 8, by expressing 2 over 4r squared and minus 1 in partial fractions or otherwise, prove that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2 over 4r squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2n plus 1. And then in part b it says, hence find the exact value of the sum from r equals 11 to 20 of 2 over 4r squared minus 1. So let's start with partial fractions. We should be recognising that that's a difference of two squares. So we can write this now as 2 over 2r plus 1 multiplied now by 2r minus 1. And we will now have an identity and put this as a over 2r plus 1 and then add to it now b over 2r minus 1. Multiplying through now by the denominator, we can see that 2 is going to be identical to 2 uh, a multiplied by 2r minus 1 plus b multiplied now by 2r plus 1. Looking at the terms in r, we've got 2a plus 2b is equal to 0r. So we can say 2a plus 2b equals 0 or a plus b is equal to 0. If you were doing a C4 partial fractions question, I wouldn't suggest that that's adequate working. But it means we're only offered one to two marks anyway. In the next one, what we can see is that B minus A, so uh, looking at the constants, we've got B minus A is equal to 2. So what we can do now is put minus A plus B is going to be equal now to 2. Okay. So what we can say from here is the following. Adding these together, what we're going to get is now a and the negative a will go and we'll have 2b is equal to 2 so b is going to be equal to 1 and a will be equal to minus 1. So we can now write these as follows we can write them as 1 over 2r minus 1 and then we can subtract away that 1 over 2r plus 1. So that is expressing it in partial fractions. The whole idea of the method of differences now is that I can say that the sum, and I'll write it just here, the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2 over 4r squared minus 1, and I'll move it just a touch over, let's move that there, can now be put equal to the following. This is going to be equal to the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over 2r minus 1, uh, minus 1 over 2r plus 1. So what we'll do, as with all the other videos, I will manually sum the one on the right and state that it will be equal to this one. If that makes no sense at all, please do watch the first videos and it should make some sense for you. So now let's write this here. What I'm going to have then, I'll do a, a little table. Um, we're going to have a little table right here. Okay, and we'll take r equal to 1 to begin with. So, starting with r is equal to 1, what we're going to do, we're going to first feed into 1 over 2r minus 1, and then we're going to subtract away from that 1 over 2r plus 1. So, when r is going to be equal to 1, what we're going to have then is 1 over 2 lots of 1 minus 1, which is 1 over 1, and we're going to be subtracting 1 over 2 lots of 1 plus 1 is going to give us 1 over 3. You might want to show a little more working over here. I'm not going to, but you may wish to do so. So we're going to get uh, 1 minus 1 third. When r is equal to 2, what we're going to end up with now over here, we're going to have 1 over 4 minus 1, and we're going to be subtracting 1 over 4 plus 1. Okay, So I've put in 2 right here, so this is going to give me 1 over 3, minus 1 over 5. If we just do one more, we'll see that when r is equal to 3, what we'll have is 1 over 6 minus 1, and then minus 1 over 6 plus 1. So we're going to end up now with 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7. And you can quite clearly see what the pattern is going to do from there onwards. So what we'll do now, we'll go down and we will do dot, 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 and show at the bottom the last two. So what we'll have now is when r is equal to n minus 1. So when r is equal to n minus 1, we're going to have 1 over 2. And consider this, we're going to have 2n minus 2 minus 1, 
we can have 2n minus 2 minus 1, and I'll rewrite that now, minus 1 over 2n minus 2 plus 1. So what we'll have, and that's a bit messy, isn't it? I really could have done that neater. Uh, we're going to have now 2n minus 3. And then we're going to have subtracting away from that now 1 over 2n minus 1. And then our final term, when r is equal to n, what we will see is the following. We're going to have on here 1 over 2n minus 1. And then finally 1 over 2n plus 1. So we can feed those in right here. Okay, so 1 over 2n minus 1 minus 1 over 2n plus 1. Okay, so let's put those there and like so. So all we're asked to show is that it is equal to 1 minus 2n plus 1. And you can quite clearly see from our previous work that that's going to be the case, as all of this middle is going to cancel out. And that's why it's often called a telescope in series. If we look at that, that's going to go with that. That one is going to go with that one. This one will go with the one below, and we'll go right the way down, and you'll see now coming back up the other way, that'll go with that, that'll go with the one above it, and we're simply left now with one. So we can now write that the sum now, so the sum from r equals one to n of two over four r squared minus one is equal to one minus one over two n plus one. Okay, so nice and straightforward. So we've shown that using the method of differences. Hence, find the exact value of the sum from, uh, from r equals 11 to 20 of this right here. Okay, if we go back to FP1, we saw this could be done with the following. We could do the sum from r equals 1 to 20 minus the sum from r equals, and be careful on this one, what we're doing is we're going to be knocking off the first 10. Don't knock off the 11. That. Okay? So to get from 11 to 20, we do the sum from r equals 1 to 20 minus the sum from r equals 1 to 10. Now, we don't need to use this. We simply need to use this right here. And we can sub it in. So what we can do on the first one, if we take 20 through here, what we're going to have is 1 minus, and that's going to be 1 over 41. Okay? Subbing in 20, 2 lots of 20 plus 1 will give me 41. And what we're now going to do is the following. We're going to subtract away from that. Now, 1 minus 1 over 2 lots of n, which is 10 plus 1. So 1 over 1 uh, over 21. And you can use a calculator if you really want to um, work this out. Um, you could do, uh, but I'm just going to do it in a calculator. So let's do that then. What we've got then is 1 minus uh, now 1 over 41. And then what we're going to have is subtracting away from that now, 1 minus, and we're going to have 1 over 21. Okay, and this will give us the value of that. So what have we got? Uh, 20 over 861. So 20 over 861. Or if uh, you were asked to give it, uh, oh, so we asked the exact value, so we can give it as a fraction. If you were asked to um, give it in terms of the decimal, there it is lot nicer as a fraction. So there we go, using the method of differences and then evaluating a sum.